Hi everyone and welcome to Daily Scuba News. The widow of a US scuba diver who went missing off the Pacific island of Saipan in 2018 is suing two dive companies, two instructors and their training agency, Paddy, for alleged negligence, wrongful death and consumer protection breaches. John Jones, the diver in question, was in safe hand to help repair typhoon damage to its international airport. On his day off, John and a work colleague, Dana Kuto, went for a dive. On a recommendation, the two headed over to a well-known site called The Grotto with a private guide from operator Axe Murderer Tours. Yeah. The Grotto dive site is a popular site for scuba diving and free diving, although over the past few years it had been getting a rather bad and somewhat worrying reputation due to the dive site having multiple deaths in recent years. They picked up tanks and a second dive guide and co-owner of Green Flash Dive Center and the team of four headed to the dive site and started their dive. The founder of Axe Murderer Tours, Harry Blalock, leading the way with the other dive instructor, Joe McDoolett, at the rear of the group. So both John and Dana were in the middle with an instructor in front and behind them. After around 27 minutes of diving and a max depth of must have been 34 meters, both John and dive guide Joe was outside the grotto in the sea at a depth of around 18 meters. It was here where John signaled that he was low on air at 50 bar and Joe signaled okay thumbs up and gestured his hands to the cave entrance. It's reported that dive guide Joe swam back to the other two divers near the grotto entrance expecting John to have followed him and told Harry that John was low on air. Harry signaled that they should re-enter the passage to return to the exit point instead of surfacing in the open ocean and swimming all the way back. But when the two instructors turned to check that John was following, they could no longer see him. When Joe turned and failed to see John behind him, he informed Harry, who signaled that he should go back and search for him while he continued the dive with Dana to get back to the exit point. Later, Joe rejoined Harry, but he had failed to find John. After getting Dana back to the exit point safely, Harry joined the search and both guides continued the search. They notified the lifeguard to call emergency services and strap some fresh tanks on their backs to continue the search themselves. They searched everywhere that they could think of, um, both in and out of the water, before they were joined by the US Coast Guard, Navy and Air Force, who were called out to help find John. But sadly, they never did. He was later declared missing, presumed dead, uh, about four months later. So, John Jones' wife, Madeline Ann Jones, is now claiming damages, according to a report in Mariana's Variety. According to Madeline Jones' legal representative, neither instructor asked her husband about John's diving experience, informed him of the level of difficulty involved in the cavern diving, or obtained his consent to undertake it. John's diving qualification had not been specified. Axe murderer Green Flash Harry, Joe and Paddy are all cited in Madeline Jones' lawsuit. The Superior Court in March 2019 found both Harry and Joe's testimonies to be credible, despite slight differences in their recalled timelines, and determined that they both made a diligent search. And that's about all that we can say on this story. We're sure that more details about this case will be released over time, but for now, our thoughts are with the Jones family and everyone knew John at the time. Safe diving, thank you very much. So Scuba Pro actually already holds the uh, the current record that they set back in 2013 in Korea when they had 135 divers breathing at the same time in a swimming pool, but they're actually looking to up their record this year. So back in 2013, they were still using a Mark 25 